What's up, motherfuckers? So today, we bringing you a little story time on something that happened yesterday. Looking back at it, it's pretty funny. It's funny, but it was scary. Well, let's just put a disclaimer. I'm a dumb bitch. Like, there's, like I feel like everyone in the comments are going to be like, oh, you're so stupid. Like She said it, not me. So I'm dumb, and I'll take full credit for it. But other people have fallen for this, so... Other dumb bitches. And guys, I guess, like, some, my mom just told me that a guy fell for it and gave them money, so. Alright, tell them this. Okay, so, if you don't know me, I'm in debt, and I'm also poor. So I get, like, all these calls all the time, like, you need to pay this, blah, blah, blah. I get a call, and it said, like, this is your final no notice from, like, the IRS, we're fi filing a lawsuit against you. So I'm like, shit, like, because I get, like, that, I get that many missed calls that I'm like, Oh my god, like, I didn't answer the phone, I should've answered the phone, like, weeks ago, like, final notice, and so they gave me a number to call back on. So I called the number, and I guess this should've been a red flag, but they didn't answer, but I thought it was, like, a place. So I called back, and I'm, by this time I texted Zach, yeah. and I was like, hey, I got a message from the IRS. And then I call my mom, because I call my mom with everything, like, I do not do anything unless my mom knows about it all right pause and so let me just give you from my side so i get this text and i'm i'm at camp i'm working at the job i'm with the kids so i read it briefly and i'm like what and I, I, it just didn't really register right away and then when i read it again i'm like mm, this seems sketch but i'll let her continue and so i'm freaking out because i was just like all i saw was like lawsuit and i was like well, I don't even know what I did wrong. Like, I don't, I've never been in court. Like, I don't know what this was about. And so they asked, like, oh, can you verify your address? So I did that. And then, like, for college, they're like, can you verify your last four digits of your social security? So I did that. And, like, they asked for that. And so I did it. And then I was just like, like, after all this, I was like, what are you guys calling me for? Like, I don't know what this even concerns. And then, so he got, like, super serious and mind you, it's like an Indian guy. Like, I can't, I can't, like, no, oh, I'm not, yeah, it, like, I'm not being, like, racist. Like, I just, I can't understand thick accents. Like, there's just not, like, it, I don't know, it's just me. So he was just, like, got super serious and it was just like, okay, when I'm telling you this, do not interrupt me. And I was like, okay, shit. And so then he was just saying, like, um, something about between 2009 and 2014, I owe eight thousand nine hundred dollars and if i like i have a, a, re a warrant out for my arrest my license is suspended and all this stuff like that so i was like what like a warrant out like all i heard was warrant out for my arrest and i flipped my shit and so let me rewind real quick so she was like i just got a call that concerns me the irs that concerns i guess you weren't making sense i, <laughs> I was freaking out so i'll like i'll put the the screenshot but it says i got a call that concerns the irs your dad did my taxes so i don't know why i got a call i tried calling back but no one will pick up it said something about filing a lawsuit against me and i was like what what did it say and then a few minutes later like i'm i'm replaying Let's this in my head how many minutes and later. I, I was it was like 10 like minutes 15. like 12 minutes later yeah. i was like it could be a scam i don't know and by this time i didn't see the text because i'm on the phone but but before when i said like your dad did my taxes like he this is the first year he did my taxes and then while i was on the phone there i said like 2009 to 2014 so that's my mom and when I heard that, like, I instantly got pissed off at my mom because, like, sometimes, like, like if I had, like, a job for, like, uh, what is it, like, six months or something, my mom was like, it's not, it costs more money for me to file your taxes than you will get back. So, but that always stressed me out. Like, I, I like to do, like, I'm very, like, I get anxiety. Like, I want to just do it and get it out of my mind and then I'll be relaxed. And then they were like, you can handle this inside of court and get a lawyer, like, do you have a lawyer and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, like, they were like saying like a criminal lawyer, like something, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I don't have that. Or they were like, you can settle this outside of court. And I was just like, I don't know what that means. And so there's like, oh, you can pay the $8,900. And so I was like, hell yeah, I'll do that if I don't have to go to jail. And so I texted my mom. I was like, I need $8,900. And my mom is not balling like that. So I don't know why I was just like, like, I was just so scared. And I was like, somehow I'm getting this money. I'm borrowing this money from someone. I'm not going to jail. And they were like, well, you can't hang up and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, like, by this time, I'm like shaking. 
And I'm like, I don't have it with me. Like, I was like, I'll get it. Like, I just don't have it. And they're like, well, you're going to be arrested. It was just back and forth, back and forth. And so they were saying, like, I cannot hang up. And then, like, I, they transferred me to someone else. And this guy was, like, sounded super... This guy didn't have an accent. So I was like, oh, this guy must be the real deal. And they were, like, telling me, like, their titles. I got some guy's name. But, like, I probably wrote it down wrong because, again, the language barrier. By this time, my mom's texting me, hang up the phone, hang up the phone. I just, like, flipped out and I hung up the phone and then instantly called my mom, bawling my eyes out because I was like, like, I was like, I gotta leave. Like, I got to get out of this house. Like, they know my address. Like, I'm going to be arrested because I hung up the phone. So I'm, like, getting all my shit together. Then I realized I don't have the car. Zach has the car. So I'm sitting there, like, screaming, like, crying to my mom, like, I need to get out of here. Like, like, I'm coming to your work like you made me hang on the phone they're going to arrest me and just like screaming and then my mom's like text Zach blah 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 and so then I text Zach come get me now like kept calling him calling him and then my mom's like it's a scam yeah, like I had about like I want to say like seven missed calls or some shit like that yeah because by the seventh call I gave up and I was like I'm ubering to the university university <laughs> university like because i but the thing my dumb ass doesn't know how to u work uber so i tried to call but i couldn't do it like i don't know how to work the app and so that i'm just sitting there freaking out and, like i'm trying to brush my teeth and then i was the whole time i was thinking i was like i can't go to jail like there's no way i'm gonna die in jail because some petty shit like over eight thousand dollars i was like that obviously that's a lot for me say the person that has a hundred dollars in their account but that's petty shit like eight thousand dollars and um i was like i'm gonna have to die in jail um zach's gonna think it's okay and he's gonna stick with me but then he's gonna break up with me and find someone else because he's gonna be over it like all this stuff was going through my head and i am panicking all right so at what point did i call you back like throughout this whole process um i was on the phone with my mom just like saying how i needed to get out like i was like i i was like i need to get out of this house i don't want to be alone anymore they're going to arrest me i'm yeah, going to be so, by myself and then you called and yeah, i like, so hung i up. called her and I'm like, babe, what the hell is wrong? Like, I wasn't by my phone. So obviously, y'all know, I've, I've pissed Tatiana off. I've made her cry a countless number amount of times. I've never seen this girl cry like that before, bruh. She was... <laughs> and, like, I could, I could hear the snot bubbles popping in the phone, the drool coming out. So I'm like, shit, like, this must be serious. I ran upstairs, told my boss, like, yo, I gotta go. Like, some shit happened with my girl. Like, I didn't want to tell him at first, but I just wanted to keep it vague. I was like, the IRS called her about some vague shit, and I don't know what's going to happen. He was like, the IRS called her. She shouldn't have picked up. Kind of gave uh, him a little more detail, and then he told me the same shit happened to his sister. So clearly, these people that run this scam target girls mainly, obviously. You said there's My mom said there. younger, like yeah, a younger so group. I sped home. I'm walking by, uh, we have like a, a sliding door. I walked by the sliding door and I saw the, the shades were shut. Cause I, I, I really and, like natural light. Yeah, I like being in the dark all the time. I like having the shades shut, being in the dark. Tatiana always has it open. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, this girl's clearly like hiding somewhere <laughs> in the apartment. <laughs> Cause she thinks the cops gonna come snatch her up. So I walk in thinking, okay, this girl's gonna fucking stab me with a knife thinking I'm somebody else as soon as I walk in. I walk in, this girl's fucking bawling her eyes out, just comes up to me. <laughs> I give her a hug, babe, it's gonna be okay. And then, um... And I'm just like, no, yeah, I gotta get out of here. This like, girl was... No had... It was secreting any type of fluid imaginable. <laughs> Crying. Because when I get nervous, I sweat. She and was, I was sweating drenched. like crazy. And this girl, she'll work out for like an hour and won't sweat. And so to see, feel her sweating like that yesterday, <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit's wild. Again, I thought it was a scam off rip. My boss was like, it's a scam. Her mom told her it was a scam, but, the but thing of course is, like, Tatiana was the only one that wouldn't believe it. But it's it was it's a scam. different when it affects you. Like when you think like you guys are like, oh, it's a scam, blah blah blah. But your guys didn't have risk of going to jail. I was like, if you guys are wrong, I'm going to jail. Like as soon as that comes home, he was like, you were gonna run from the police. Yeah. No, I wasn't gonna run from the police. I just wanted to be in a different location. 
bitch. Yeah, she was. She really thought she was American's most think. wanted. She thought she was fucking Michael Schofield escaping the cops. I've she, seen enough prison yeah, break she to do she it. She's seen enough prison break to where she's not gonna get caught. No, so. no. I see. The thing is, I knew I was gonna get caught, but since my mom told me to hang up the phone, I was like, I want to be with my mom. Like, if I'm gonna be arrested, I want to be with my mom. I want her to know what's going on. If anything, she's the one that's going to have the money to bail me out. Like, I wanted her to just know everything. And, like, I just didn't want to be there. Once I got home, I was like, I'm going to call my dad and see, like, what he says. And, of course, my dad, just like everyone else, was saying it's a scam. Like, tell her to calm down. But, like, after I got off the phone with him, like, Tatiana stopped crying a little bit. And I was able to finally calm her down. I know this was somewhat entertaining, but I also want y'all to be aware of these type of scams and always use your brain. Use even if you don't have a brain, use Google. Use it. <laughs> yeah, because I mean there were just so many but red the thing flags, is, like, like I told you. Like other people have fallen fallen for it and actually given them money. Like I didn't give them any of like my but you almost if it wasn't for like well, yeah. mom, if you had the money, you would have given them the money. Hell yeah, I would have. I didn't want to go to jail. The red flags from them instantly saying that she was gonna go to jail without giving sending her anything in the mail or get having i didn't know that contact. they sent stuff in the mail like there were just way too many red flags but y'all be wait, aware wait wait and i also like have the actual cell phone number and my mom googled the number and i guess it's like known like that number that yeah. they called me from so we should like put the number in the down bar because like no one should ever go through what i did so yeah just be smart Google anything if anyone ever hits you up. If something sounds too good to be true or too bad to be true, then use use your brain. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, don't be like me. I'm a dumb bitch. We'll highlight y'all later. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. As you see, we have a huge spider. And as you hear, the female species no, is scared. Like, I'm so <laughs>